Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit where user abd63 asked what is a case of instant karma you witnessed? I was buying some drinks at a Circle K one day while visiting someone in Florida and these old tourists cut in line all the while complaining and bitching loudly about everything. How expensive everything is, how crowded the beach is, it's too hot. They are also really rude to the cashier and take forever arguing about the price of the hot dogs they were buying or something. They leave and as we walk out we witness a seagull come and snatch the guy's hot dog right out of his hand. His wife then shrieks and proceeds to drop hers out of surprise. I know it isn't a big deal, but it's so fucking hilarious watching that happening that I still remember it five years later. I worked at a beach resort many years ago and there were signs posted in each room, Do not feed the seagulls. After calling room 301 three times to tell them that their neighbours were complaining about all the noise from the gulls they were feeding, I went down to the beach to confront them from below. Just as I stepped in view of the kids doing it, I see a huge white spray of seagull shit paint all three of them in the face. They went screaming inside and nothing further needed to be said at that point. I was waiting at red lights across the main street of my town. My light goes green so I start driving. At the same time a truck to my right starts going. I hit my brakes to avoid hitting him and this kid is looking at me like I'm the asshole. As soon as he's clear I finish crossing and I see lights start flashing. He ran the red light while being directly in front of a cop. Happened while visiting New York. I watched someone bend down to pick up a wallet someone ahead of them had just dropped. All of this was going down in the crosswalk and I was in the passenger seat with my dad driving. Guy A, who picked up the wallet, began to run it to Guy B, who was already across the street and while doing so, his wallet fell out of his pocket and on the sidewalk crosswalk area. Some shitty dude in the bike lane rode up a little ways ahead, bent down and picked it up and just started heading off. Just grabbed it and began to ride away like a bunch of cars hadn't just watched him. My dad was about to say something when a cop car adjacent to us swerved in front of Cycler and made him give it back. Cycler bumped into the cop car and was trying to go around when he was tackled. I think they might have arrested him but the lights changed so we couldn't stick around. Coolest instant karma I've ever seen. We were driving home late from work one night, both bartenders, maybe midnight. We live in a small community and we were at the quarter mile section that goes from 55 to 45 to 35 to 25. A giant lifted truck decided that he wanted to continue going 55. He was up our ass. Brights on, so close you couldn't even see his bumper. It was like his lights were in our car. Pretty much two seconds after, one of us said, Where's a cop when you need one? A deputy passed us going the opposite direction and immediately flipped a bitch and pulled him over. Still gives me the warm fuzzies. Fuck that guy. My wife was jogging and a man starts driving slow and catcalling her. Doesn't realise it's a red light and rear ends a truck, totally destroying his Prius. Cop was stopped at the same red light and saw the whole situation. Cop laughed and asked my wife to fill out a witness statement. Drunk guy at the bar started yelling at the bartender for cutting him off. Called her bitch and whore multiple times and then tried to scoot his bar stool back. Instead, it caught on the carpet and he fell backwards like a tree falling. It made a very audible thud and of course everyone stopped what they're doing to look. He laid there for a minute, got up and stumbled to the door as everyone continued to stare at him. Definitely never saw him again. A guy kicked a dog and ran full speed into a brick wall as the dog chased him. My uncle tried to kick the cat, missed, kicked a brick wall instead broke two toes and almost lost them because he refused to do anything about it and gangrene set in. Watch an entitled angry man abuse and belittle his server to the point of tears. Then he hitched up his belt and looked pleased with himself as he swaggered off the restaurant deck, tripped on the stairs and face planted in the sand on the beach. My wife looked mortified as I laughed right out loud at the guy. He got up, saw everyone staring and at least one person openly laughing and quick stepped off down the beach. I work at a movie theatre. One afternoon I was selling tickets at the box office when an older lady came up and asked me a question about her app. It's a Cinemark app. I however wasn't sure about the answer and told her that. She proceeded to say very rudely, isn't it your job to know? Are you stupid or something? 
Then she turned around and noticed the mall cop was writing her a ticket for parking in a handicap spot when she did not have a handicap plate or placard. She took off running, screaming, Wait, stop! That's my car! I couldn't keep the huge grin off my face for the rest of the day. One day a few years ago, I was grabbing McDonald's near work to eat something last second before my shift. It was one of those two-lane microphone deals. I blatantly finished ordering before the other lane, before he stomped on the gas to cut me off. His car breaks down right there, and I get to take my rightful turn in line. Not 100% instant karma, but pretty quick. See, I work for a staffing agency. I'm a recruiter. Pretty small team, and this was actually another recruiter on my team that this happened to. My co-worker was working with this guy who was pretty sharp. He was a programmer. His company was doing layoffs, but he was told he wouldn't be affected. My co-worker contacted him, chatted about the situation, and he said he would be interested in looking around. We just had a new client give us a position to help, and that fit his background. We lined up an interview pretty quickly. He interviewed and got the position. Great. It was even a little salary bump. Straight direct hire, no contract stuff. He goes in, works his first week, all is great, all smiles. Well, that next Monday shows up and he isn't there. The company calls us asking where he is, so my co-worker calls him. He answers the phone and my co-worker asks, Hey, is everything okay? You no call no show today over at XYZ Company. And the guy proceeds to tell us, Yeah, I never actually quit my job. I just took vacation for the week to see if I liked the place. It was okay, but I'll just stay here. My co-worker responds, Man, is there anything I can do? This puts us in a tight spot. This is a brand new customer of ours. Can I do anything? And the guy tells us, Quite frankly, I don't give a shit what kind of position it puts you in, nor do I care if they are a new customer. I'm staying. Don't call me again. And hangs up the phone. He got laid off the next week. The washers and dryers in my apartment building are run through Bluetooth and an app you download on your phone. I figured out that if I put my phone on airplane mode while simultaneously pressing the start button on the machine, the washer would start but I wouldn't get charged. I was so proud, tried the same thing on the dryer and it worked. Went to get my clothes out the dryer an hour later, everything was covered in melted Hershey kisses. We were driving on a very icy 35 mile per hour limit road in a four wheel drive car after one of the big first snowstorms of the winter. We're doing 25 miles per hour, which is about as fast as we feel we can push it, given the ice sheet over everything since the snow melted to slush and refroze overnight. We've been driving in snow and ice our whole lives. We know what will work and what is risky and conditions are bad. All other traffic is basically moving at our speed or even slower. A shiny new lifted red Dodge pickup pulls up behind us, tailgating, revving his engine. Basically everything is screaming. Big man in his big truck doesn't need to be held up by some shitty car that can't handle the snow. We hit a straight section and give him an easy chance to pass us. He takes it and quickly accelerates to 40 miles per hour, which would be the typical speed for the road in the summer. About 400 feet beyond us, the road takes a moderate curve left. He tries to turn, but it's a solid sheet of ice. The truck goes straight into a parked car and guardrail, right in front of a dozen or so witnesses. We close past at 25, making the turn without issue. His front end was pretty smashed up. Maybe not totaled, but I'll be amazed if he could drive it to the shop. I hit my girlfriend in the forehead with a spinning fidget spinner. She chased me, I jumped on my bed, and my ceiling fan smacked the living shit out of me. She was on the floor laughing for a solid five minutes. I am a firm believer in karma now, or maybe just idiocy on my part. I was at an all-good festival once, and there was one of those dudes who was just pure id. You know, shouting insults, screaming, throwing shit at people, just an animal. He was slightly uphill from a main intersection, only maybe 30 feet from the crowd. I was standing around waiting for a friend. The dude's campsite was total bullshit, with some poorly planned tarp city thing held up by a nylon rope that was strung over a pickup truck and secured by slamming a car door shut on it. Suddenly, the guy throws his beer at the crowd, crawls up on top of the car and starts tight roping it between the car and the truck. I was very impressed that he made at least two steps before the rope slipped a few inches in the car door. The asshole guy spread his legs and he dropped three feet straight onto the suspended rope. I have never in my life 
seen a guy rack his ball so hard. In a fetal position, he spun around the rope in slow motion until he was upside down. Then the rope scraped across the roof of the truck, fell between the cab and the bed, partially collapsed the tarp city and dropped the asshole a couple more feet onto his head in the mud. The asshole got up, shut up, looked a little embarrassed and limped away as his infuriated friends boiled out of their wrecked home. At a big sports tournament after a game and it's raining a bit, an aggressive driver can't be bothered with people rushing to their cars and almost runs over a kid, yells at people in his way and decides to weave around traffic to get out of the place quicker. There is a sawhorse blocking the exit he's not supposed to go out. The rain is getting heavier. Everyone is watching this impatient person as he gets out his car to move the sawhorse and bypass the traffic line and pedestrian traffic due to his self-entitlement. When he gets out to move the sawhorse, he closes his car door and locks himself out of the car with a car running. Downpour ensues. Instant karma. I work in a liquor store. We are constantly telling kids not to run, you know, because their parents can't be bothered. Anyway, about three weeks ago, a family came in. Two young kids running around. Please stop. Nothing. Please stop. Nothing. Then crash. An entire display of wine hit the floor. Cost the parents $250 to not discipline their kids. I worked in a cell phone store years ago. Lines were long and some woman's kid was running blast through the store, knocking over things and just being a general helion. I asked her to control her child several times, as he could easily get hurt doing what he was doing. After about the third time, she yells, Fuck you, don't you tell me how to raise my child! She never finished her sentence, because the child ran head first into a very heavy hanging sign and knocked himself out cold. The kid fell like a bag of potatoes, I mean, like a sniper shot to the head kind of thing. Have you witnessed any instant karma? Tell me about it in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.